free women's fasting cap. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to discuss with you guys the peptide BPC-157. I'm going to share with you my thoughts and my experiences and all the things you need to know about this peptide. So, but before we get into this, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. That way you get all the updates on the new video and content I have coming out. Also too, if you are new and don't already know, I have a women's peptide course where I have a full online self-paced course where I teach women how to use peptides. And also that's where you can also find the women's peptide cheat sheet, which is a great free downloadable peptide cheat sheet that I designed. That way you guys know exactly what peptide, what you're using it for, how much um, back to your static water to add, how much, um, what your dosing recommendations are for it, and your rotation and how frequently to use each of these peptides. So with that being said too, I also have in that link tree um, link below where I have um, where you can find where I buy all of my peptides um, and all the discount codes for that. That way you guys are getting it from the highest quality source out there that I like to get mine from. I don't recommend things that I wouldn't use on myself. So know that the sources that I have are legit and they are the best that I have been able to find. Um, also you can see in that link in tree below how to contact me, whether you want to book a consultation call, a coaching call, or a peptide plan. So um, that being said, too, you could also shoot me an email um, on my website as well or DM me on Instagram. So now that we have all of that out of the way, let's discuss the peptide BPC-157. So this is a peptide that um, I didn't realize like I hadn't made a video yet about. And it kind of surprised me because this is the first peptide I actually ever used. So um, BPC-157 has gotten so much attention um and it is um one of the great peptides and the reason why it was my first peptide is because I used it when I um actually was dealing with um some knee issues um that I had a slight knee problem spike up for me when I was um lifting in the gym and I wouldn't say I necessarily teared anything, but I basically tweaked my knee, pulling it the wrong way, and my um, tissues definitely felt um, felt inflamed, felt irritated. So that is what prompted me um, to have this be the first peptide that I used. I had been studying peptides for a long time just for um, um for anti-inflammatory purposes and um, just to help with the longevity of life and everything like that and all the amazing benefits that peptides have. But not to talk about me so much, let's get back to um, BBC 157 and basically what it does. So this peptide is a um, protecting is a protecting compounding peptide. So this is actually um, a peptide that is um, the proteins are actually found in your um, in your stomach, which is why it gets like such remarkable like healing properties is that BPC-157 is in our bodies like peptides are all in our bodies at BPT-157. It is in our stomach. So it is really like the magical peptide of healing, which is so beneficial because it can help with um, muscle tears and tendons and ligaments. It can also help with gut health. So um, let's get into this. Let's start off with the gut healing properties that it has. It is going to help promote gut healing um, in the digestive tract especially if you are suffering um, from any kind of like leaky gut, ulcers, or irritable bowel syndrome, this is going to help tremendously. Now, um, this is something that I experienced um, as well. Like I've always had issues with 
leaky gut, candida, ulcers, and just like irritable bowel syndrome and just being a little bit more sensitive to things. And, um, you know, this is something that I started prior to ever taking metformin, but metformin pairing with BPC-157 for the gut health is so magically powerful. Um, but to kind of like not make this about metformin, make it back to BPC, it is going to help with leaky gut. So um, leaky gut, if you have never experienced leaky gut, like so happy for you because leaky gut is not fun. And that basically is just like basically where the capsules were like your stomach lining and your acids just like they kind of leak out and that's why it's called leaky gut because it kind of just leaks up and it's just this awful burning sensation and um a lot of that times leaky gut ulcers um can happen just from stress um anytime um when i was younger in my 20s i went through really bad cases of like leaky gut, stomach ulcers, um, candida, and a lot of it had to do with my stress and anxiety on top of, you know, top two, just like diet and everything I know now living um, a more anti-inflammatory lifestyle. So that is um, one of the benefits that you're going to get is that BBC 157 is going to help with your gut health. Um, the other benefit that you're going to get with BPC-157 is that it is going to help pair, help with muscle repair, um, whether it is with muscle, tendons, ligament injuries, anything like that, BBC-157 is going to help. So this is going to be really beneficial for athletes, um, especially um, athletes or if you are just like a, you know, a gym rat like myself and you get any kind of injury, this is going to help tremendously with, with your injury. So um, let's just say that um, my case, I went in and I went to the gym and I had an injury where I felt like I tore something in my knee. Don't know exactly if I had a torn meniscus or I just, I tweaked something in my knee and Taking BPC-157 really helped improve that recovery of my knee recovering a lot quicker. It helped so much to where the point like I was able to recover faster and I was able to lift quicker versus not having to like having to take any time off the gym. It's going to help with that recovery. Um, I also had a family member who tore a um, – had a tear in his labrum. And um, was suggested to have surgery and opted out of not having surgery um, because they were in the process of um, getting, trying to get a, a football scholarship college. And um, he opted out of the surgery and used BPC-157. And it ends up healing his torn labrum to the point he didn't have to have surgery. So, which is amazing, but... What is really important, guys, is that what a lot of people don't realize is that any kind of like ligament, muscle, muscle tendon tears, those tears will eventually heal on its own over time. Um, it will take a lot longer to get there versus going in and having surgery and getting cut open. But sometimes, you know, you're better off maybe taking the route of low, slow recovery than going in and having surgery because sometimes you can actually get more damage after um, going under surgery. But um, so I'm not saying surgeries aren't necessary. They are definitely necessary at times. But BBC 157, depending on the severity of, you know, of your injury, it might prevent you from having to get surgery. And that is going to be super beneficial. Now, let's just say if you are going in and you are getting surgery because you have something super major going on and you just want to go down that surgery route or, you know, it's not an option, um, BPC-157, taking that prior to having surgery um, can be very beneficial because it can help with your recovery from healing after surgery. Um, I have a few clients that I've worked with and they were able to um, – take BBC-157 prior to having surgery and after having surgery, and they were able to actually recover quicker to the point, like, even their surgeons and doctors are all just, like, in their, you know, PT, they were all just, like, wow, we've never seen people recover um, 
this quickly and you're able to make such great, um, you know, strive just like with your PT and everything. So that is super beneficial. Um, one of the things that is also going to help with is also going to be it's um, BPC-157 is going to be um, its anti-inflammatory properties, which is going to help overall, like, so whether you have inflammation, like, from injury, from having surgery, from just having inflammation just in the gut, it is going to help so much reduce that inflammation to where it's going to also help with the pain. Because if it, you know, especially like if you're recovering from surgery, like, your body's inflamed. You know, you just went on a surgery, you've just been cut open, your body's inflamed. It's going to help with that inflammation. Therefore, it's going to help take that pain away. Now, this is not going to be, you know, the same as, you know, taking a painkiller, but it's also, it's just, it is going to help with the pain because it's going to help reduce inflammation. So um, the other great thing that it's also going to do is going to help with the inflammation in your brain and with your nervous system. So it's also going to help like, you know, with if you have any kind of like if you're recovering from any traumatic injuries, it's also going to help your brain to be able to have less inflammation. That way your body can completely heal properly and it's also going to help just you know, in general, like sometimes, you know, we get inflammation just by like eating things that we shouldn't, whether it's like, you know, you had a cheat meal over the weekend and you had like a ton of sugar and your body's not used to that. And even if your body is used to it and you've had more sugar than normal, your body is going to be more inflammatory from that. Um, so the BPC-157 is going to help with that. And it's going to help with that um, also with the brain inflammation because if you eat um, a lot of processed foods, a lot of processed sugar, your brain is going to be, you're going to have brain inflammation from that. And BBC 157 is going to help, um, help reduce that inflammation. So, um, that is a lot of really great healing properties that BBC 157 does. I mean, that is why I feel like it is the healing magical peptide and um it was the first peptide i used and it was to help with my um, recovery from an injury in the gym with my knee and it helped me tremendously but it also helped me a lot too because um you know i was dealing with a lot of inflammation also just in my body i've mentioned in previous videos that um i was told that i had rheumatoid arthritis and autoimmune issues and um bpc 157 definitely helped me, um, a lot with that. So, um, yeah. So for my dosing amount that I did with BPC 157, when I was dealing with my, um, with my knee injury, I was taking 250 micrograms of it and I was doing, um, I was doing that five times, five times a week with two days off. And, um, I was doing in a rotation of eight weeks with that. Um, if I like, if I noticed within that eight weeks that like my injury got better, if you were still recovering from that, you definitely could, you definitely can push that cycle off um, to longer past eight weeks. But it's really important to do cycling with your peptides, especially BPC 157, because that is found um, in our stomach lining. So I definitely make sure you do cycle with that. And, um, that is something that that I did was the 250 micrograms um, for a injury recovery. Um, so yeah, that was super beneficial um, for me, and um, it has been beneficial for a lot of other people that I've worked with and that I know in my life. So um, yeah, that is one of the great benefits that I had. So when I was, um, dealing with that knee injury, I was, um, injecting BPC-157. So a lot of people don't realize that you can either inject this peptide or this peptide does come in a capsule form. Um, my experiences and my suggestion is to always, I would suggest doing the injection just because it is more effective because it doesn't have to go through your liver and it doesn't have to be broken down. Um, when you do take it orally, um, it is beneficial, but the only benefits you're really going to see is, um, 
you're going to just mainly get the benefits of the the gut health um, and the gut um, gut benefits. So you're not going to really see as much of the benefits like with the tendon and muscle repair. And um, you are going to see a little bit of the anti-inflammatory, but it's really just going to affect your stomach and gut lining. Um, it's not going to really help if you have any kind of injury and muscle ligament things going on. So um, that was my experience with that. That is my suggestion. Um, I am more of a fan of injecting the peptides rather than taking oral peptides just because, again, goes through the liver and I just don't feel like you get as much of the benefit. So, so there you have it, you guys. That is my experience and summary on the peptide BPC-157. And it has taken me a while to make this video and not really sure why, but hey, you know, timing's everything and I got around to it. So, um, if you guys have used this peptide and want to share your positive thoughts and comments below, feel free to comment. If you have any questions about a pep about this peptide and you want to know more, you know how to reach me now. Um, use my link entry for any form of contacting me. You can also DM me on Instagram. And as always, guys, don't forget to check out the link tree for where I like to get my BBC 157 so you know where it is coming from legitimate sources and whatnot. So as always, guys, thank you so much for all the love, support, and thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys soon.